yeah this dodge has no heat and after some investigation i found that i have a very small leak right by the radiator cap <clears throat> there's a little t connector and that little leak is causing me not to get any heat to the heater core and it's very uncomfortable especially living out here where it gets really cold you want to have some heat so looked into it turns out that the is a common problem as soon as i walked into the shop the guy knew exactly what part i was talking about and i'm like great well he's like oh here we got the part and it's all one piece you just can't connect uh replace the little t connector it's all welded together with some heat welding or whatever so you gotta buy this whole 70 dollars part and i'm like geez what is game and he's like yeah we always keep two of them in stock because it's a common problem for dodge vehicles apparently they use this in a lot of other dodges not just the caliber so if you don't have any heat in your car you might need to get me one of these which is 70 dollars that's 70 dollars right there that's just i bought it and i put it in that's a lot of money 70 bucks yeah for me that's a lot of money if you imagine if you took it to a shop and you had paid a shop to do it you know most shops like 75 bucks an hour or something like that and it might be two or two hours to get it done so that's a lot of cash and it's been real we're looking around on the internet on the internet i found this this is a billet aluminum t connector looks exactly like my car and the only reason why i found this is because i went to image search to see if I was make sure I had the right part and this showed up. Only one entry resulted in the search for my car and this part. So apparently this is like a little known uh, replacement part. So I got this, got some hose clamps, got my knife, and we're gonna go to town. So come on with me, uh, we'll get this car back on the road. the fluids ain't nothing in here she is bone dry in the reservoir there is fluid in the reservoir it's just not sucking it up it's about down to here probably ain't sucking it up because the leak is right down there <laughs> you can see I put some like paper towel in there and glued it down tried to hot glue it back into place so try to try to keep it on the road so I don't leak completely but that was to a no avail so let's get this thing out and put the new one in the best of quality parts here. Try to make sure to cut it really close 
so I still have plenty of room here. Pretty much just a direct replacement. Only thing is though, this won't fit in here, so we gotta go with this. Who knows what pressure cap this is? This is a 1.1, so it may just be 1.1. This one is in this one doesn't say what it is either. A10. That was 16 pounds. So I might have to find a cap to put on here that matches that one as far as pressure goes. And this guy, oh this, this one needs a clamp too. Need a clamp for that. And then I should be done. Hi, right, got a smaller one. I had this one in stock. I got plenty of parts from all my old cars. I was actually on there pretty good. I didn't even use it. Oh, it needs to be bigger. This one might not be big enough. Oh, no, 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 it is. This here we go. Oh. Here comes some big car showing off. My car doesn't sound like that. This is a 2.0 and a CVT, so there ain't no room in it. That wind up good. All right, let's make sure that's good and tight because that's gonna be the vacuum that's gonna pull from the reservoir. Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to get any tighter. Those look good. All right. All right, I'm gonna fill this back up. Gonna go with some uh, Zyrtec Valvoline stuff. That's, that's what was available in the store. I wasn't really keen on buying any top-notch antifreeze, being that it was leaking. No, re no reason to waste waste your money if you're just gonna spill back out on the ground. Now I'll probably have to fill this up a couple of times to make sure that all the air bubbles get out. And if I keep seeing air bubbles in here, I'll have to go online and look up like a proper burping technique. Some cars are very weird like that. Like if you ever owned a Fiero, you would know it's like you can't just dump the stuff in there and expect it to work. Push this up, suck it down, there we go. Try to get some air bubbles out of there. Now we got some air. Okay. Cap back on. And I'll fill this guy back up because it's kind of empty. It's like about halfway full. That's full point. Full hot, full cold, alright. A little over, but that's good. Alright, should be good. The old part, you can mount this on your wall. Tell your grandkids about it. On back in my day, we had put up with shit. Yeah, that's, like that's just glued on there. Well, that's my glue. I put <laughs> easy glue on it. But yeah, there was a little tiny hole right down there, and then that was creating all the problems. And it was just just enough that you never noticed it. It wasn't until I tried to pull the trailer that we had an overheating issue, and then we could actually see it spewing all sorts of crap across the top of the engine. Run this a bit, make sure everything is good. You don't have any big leaks in there. Yeah, so far, so good. I'll probably take it for a few test drives here. And then I'll let it cool down and I'll double check my coolant level. Now when it cools down, I think that's when it sucks from the uh, chamber. So as long as there's no pinhole leaks, it'll pull that fluid back up and try to top itself back off. Sure. Well, so far so good. I think it's time for a test drive. So one thing I noticed too while driving around with this heating problem with no heat is that the temperature of the car never really got over the halfway mark. Like you would get up to the halfway mark and that was it. I would, you would think that if you got a low on coolant, you'd end up with the car overheating. 
this never did. It, it managed to stay cool enough that it didn't happen. I, I think what's going on is that the outlet for the heater core is lower than the uh, outlet for the rest of the engine or, or higher, one of the two. So as soon as you lose any kind of fluid, the heater core starts getting starved for cooling. So that way you get no heat. The engine stays cold, but you know. What was that movie? <laughs> Either the engine gets hot or we get hot. And then they have another beer. It's like, oh my God. The, the, you know, people in the 70s. This one was still just reading always just mid-range. I even went and bought a computer chip thingy. You plug it into the ODBD2 and then you connect to it with your cell phone. And even that never showed any signs of overheating. I bought that because sometimes you get more info from the ECM that you can from your gauges, which I think is stupid. That's actually one of my biggest gripes with new cars. You got that big old fancy LCD monitor in your dashboard. Why can't you have the whole diagnostic suite in there? I can't even speak. You should be able to just bring it up, click on diagnostics and see what's going on right real time, everything. And it's like, they're not like, oh, we could put maps on there or Spotify. It's like, get out, get out of the cars. Computers are nice and all, they don't really belong in a car. It's really hard for them to implement that. Oh, someone's sign blew off. It must have been windy yesterday. If I got any heat yet, I got the heater on, so it's gonna be noisy. Hopefully, I have heat. All right, it's warm, but not not hot. We we might still need to add more. Cooling. Okay, well, uh, done some driving around. That's nice and warm. That's hard, so there's pressure in there. So I'm not gonna open that now because it's still hot. Like, oh, this is the hot side here. That's warm. But good thing is, is there's no leaks. Uh, I'm gonna have to wash all that off. That's all the old leakage. So you can see how much of a mess it was making. It was just leaking out of there, shooting across the whole engine. So we'll do some more driving around and top it off a few times and I'll give you guys an update. Yeah, you can see they didn't even drive, drop anything out yet.